Это единственная система мифов, It is the only system of myths that was not disturbed by a rosary, a thurible, or by any other tool. Even monks, whose roots belong to the Icelandic land, did not risk adding something of their own to this system. Even monks, although one would expect all sorts of things from them. There was a high demand, possibly, during the Christianization of Northern Europe, to white out not just the gods, but also the heroic epos. And why all this? Because every ruler linked his ancestral line to one of these gods. Not directly, of course. That ruler had thousands of various ancestors. And those ancestors' deeds weren't always saint-like. They solved their problems in various ways. As a result, all the sagas, songs and tales remained. You will be reading them, read them and realize that even they don't represent those ancestors in the best light. They burglarized and killed, sometimes they robbed, they made mistakes. But what is scarier, to make a mistake or to lie? and say that you didn't make one. What is scarier? To lie and then tell everyone that it didn't happen? Those who brought the Norse tradition to our days were assured that a lie in any form is not just bad, it is something that depletes one's soul. It is something you cannot turn back. One only lie is enough to be caught by it, like by a snake, and not being able to ever get out. The scariest of all the lies is the ultimate lie the one that depends on you. One can say, my ancestor didn't kill, but it will be yet another lie. And it is worse than the one that was said before you. You know he did kill. All can be resolved. One can cleanse themselves of lives if one tells the truth. This is the central theme in the Hovamol, that is what Odin passed on to his descendants. Guys, life is hard, things happen, we are not always wise, we don't always know what is the right thing to do. But if we are honest, the probability of doing what is right is higher than if you try to slither, lie, bear false witness, even to yourself. Don't do it. This is why they all were so naive and honest and argued with their gods if they didn't like something. They would say darkly to God's wooden faces, I don't like what you're doing, Odin. It's not a good idea. You've gone too far, Freya. Too far. It's just too much. And not only was it forgiven to them, it was considered the right thing to do. Because if something lies heavy on your heart, don't hide it. Speak up. It doesn't matter who is in front of you. If it's a friend, brother, god, king, konung, slave, everybody has an equal right to truth. And this point is very important. When we immerse ourselves in the realm, we have to maintain this same state of mind. The sickest lie is the lie we tell ourselves. We rationalize it. We say, no, 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 it wasn't me, it's the circumstances, none of that happened. 
No need to pay attention to that. Yes, I did do a vile thing here, but I won't tell anyone and will try to forget it as soon as possible. There are no white lies. I mean, they exist, but to tell them is not humanly worthy. It's not worthy. If we want to be worthy of the forces that we seek, we have to assume their likeness, which is why honesty, transparency, at least with oneself, is going to be very important. If you don't like something, say it. If you like something, say it. If you succeed at this, say it. If you don't succeed, say it. It is important. These are my words of wisdom to you.